Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we are going to be trying the new Merit lipsticks in the matte formula. So this is the Signature Lip. They have in the past released only one formula of lipstick and that is the Satin formula. Which if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know how much I love this formula. So I was very intrigued whenever Merit announced they were going to do a matte formula because the whole premise of Merit is easy beauty, easy makeup that you can just take a few minutes out of your day, get a full face and look very natural, very glowy. On my cheeks, I have all Merit products. I have the bronzer, the highlight, the blush, two blushes actually, and I just love them. I love Merit and I've been loving them ever since they were released. So I was very excited to try these lipsticks and we're gonna be doing it today for the first time. I'm gonna be doing some hand swatches and some lip swatches. I did pick four of the shades, one neutral or nude, one pink and two reds, one of them on my lips. So before we get right into it, please be sure to subscribe. It is super easy and it does help my channel a lot. I've been meaning it to sit down and film this video for the longest time and there's always something that happens that stops me from being able to do so. And right now when I finally sit down outside, my husband is doing the yard, so it's super loud. And then my lips have this ongoing for the past, I don't know, three or four years that I get this kind of cold sore on my lips, but it's not really cold sore. I'm pretty sure that it's something to do like stress related. So I'm at the end of it right now. It'll come like I get like some spots in my lips, then they stay for like a few weeks, then they stop, they go away for like a few months, they come back, I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway, that being said, this is probably the worst timing to do this lip swatching but we're gonna do it. We're gonna dive into it because I am dying to try these lipsticks. I've had them sitting in my vanity for, I wanna say, a month already. I bought them as soon as they were released and I have yet to try them or swatch them. I've seen them, of course, I've seen them, but not swatched. So let's dive right into it. I picked up four of the new shades from the Merit Signature Lip in the matte version. I got two reds, one pink, and one neutral. So I've got Sunday, Power, Classic, and Vermilion. I actually wanted to buy all of them, but I stopped myself at only four. So I'm gonna show you real quick the packaging. It's the packaging that Merit always has on the outside, a very pretty, I don't know, this is like a grayish blue, mostly blue really, uh, box. And then on the top you have in gold uh, the Merit logo. And whenever you and the name of the lipstick so you see it right there and then whenever you open it the packaging is a different shade I want to show you in a minute the other ones it's the same packaging very beautiful component and they are just plastic component with the gold and then the top is I don't know like a grayish so anyway that is for packaging now let's dive into each one of the shades that I got which again I picked four of them I've only seen them, haven't even swatched them. So these are literally brand new straight out of the packaging. And I am going to be swatching all of them on my lips, which is probably gonna be pretty painful. And I'm going to swatch them on the back of my hand. Let's begin with the lighter one. This is a um, classic. It's going to be a very pretty darker nude, depending on your skin tone. And then we have, uh, what is this? Sunday, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is Sunday. Perfect one to wear today because I am filming this on a Sunday. Sunday is a more pinkish. And then we have a very springy, summery shade. This is the red that I picked, the first one called Vermilion. Feel like this is more like the orangey red. And then lastly, I wanted to pick a classic red and this is Power. So all the shades, I'm gonna try my best to not drop them. I'm gonna show them to you side by side so you can see the four of them that I got. So here they are. I don't wanna break them. So as best I can, I'm showing them. Whoops. Okay, this is gonna be dramatic. So we've got um, the pink one, which is Sunday and then classic power and vermilion. 
So you can compare the two reds side by side. But anyway, let's go ahead and swatch them first on my hand and then we'll go ahead and do lip swatches. The bullet itself is very pretty. It does have merit and bust just as the same with these uh, satin ones. They also have merit and bust on the actual bullet. This is 1990, by the way, in case you're wondering. So you can also see the bullet, how uh, different it looks when this is like the uh, satin formula. It's very shiny. And then this is a matte one, of course, completely matte. So anyway, let's begin with the swatching on the hand. I'm going to start with the lighter one, which is, of course, classic. It almost looks pink on my hand. Let me swatch it next to Sunday. This is going to be very different on my lips, of course, because my lips have different pigmentation than my hand, and it is going to be different on any skin tone, also different lip color. And then we're just gonna go for vermilion. I'm not very good at swatching. I think I say this in every single video that I'm doing swatches. And then we've got power. And I think I just messed them up, but no, yeah, this is power. So, so you can compare each one next to each other. Oh, power almost looks like pinkish on my swatch. Okay, so we've got the very beginning classic, which is the nudie on the bunch. Then we've got Sunday, the actual pink one, vermilion. You can definitely see a lot of that orange peeking through. And then power as your classic red, which somehow I always feel like classic reds look a little bit pinkish red. And this definitely looks a bit pinkish. Maybe I'm just imagining, but that's how I see it. So the four that I got, they look very pretty. I'm dying to put them on my lips. So let's begin with the lighter one, which is going to be classic. That was very soft. Just one swatch. Let me go ahead and add a little more. They are very soft and they feel extremely lightweight on the lips. This is not as pink as I thought it would be from the swatch. So that's what I was saying. It's always very different from lipstick to a hand swatch because your lips have a different pigmentation. So here we have Classic by Merit. Now let's go ahead and swatch Sunday on my lips. I forgot to mention, but there was nothing on my lips whenever I did the first swatch with uh, Classic. I didn't want to add any lip liner. Depending on the day, I usually like to go for a lip liner pretty much that is going to match my lips and then just go with any lip, just so preventing for it to bleed or you know just for it to last longer. But for today, I wanted to skip the lip liner so we can actually see the real color on the lipstick. So now this is um, Sunday. Let's go ahead and apply this one. It has a lot of pigmentation. They're very soft, very buttery. And there's no, yeah, there's no scent to them. Absolutely none. How pretty is Sunday? On my eyes, it definitely feels like it's just brightening my face. And although it's a lighter pink, and it's not bright at the same time, it's just brightening my face. I really like it. I think this so far has been my favorite, but of course I still have to, to try the red ones and I love red lipstick. But realistically, I don't wear red as much as I used to in the past. Now I grab more nudes or pinkish shades, so I think this is going to be my favorite out of the bunch. Here is Sunday. Let's move on with the reds and we're going to swatch first vermilion. I think this one is a little bit lighter than power, so I want to go lighter to darker. So let's go ahead and swatch it on the lips. That's super pigmented. Mm, it's very pretty. And here we have vermilion. Now that I'm looking at the camera through the viewfinder, I can definitely see that orange peeking through. This is going to be a perfect lipstick for the summer. I think it's very, very pretty. And again, formula is very soft, very buttery on the lips, very comfortable. They feel very lightweight, almost like I'm just wearing 
I can definitely feel I have something on my lips, but it doesn't feel heavy, especially for a matte lip, which is the bigger thing. I'm not a huge fan as much anymore of matte lipsticks. I have a few formulas that I absolutely love. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know Charlotte Tilbury and Lisa Eldridge are my two favorite matte lipsticks of all times. I, I'm gonna have to do a comparison between those three formulas to see how, how they match against each other, but this is definitely a beautiful formula and very, very comfortable, very lightweight on the lips. But anyway, here is Vermilion on the lips. Let's finish up with Power, which is the darker of the bunch that I picked. And my husband started with the yard again, so it's gonna, be get, it's gonna get pretty loud. So let's go ahead and swatch it. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. Maybe it's just me, but I always see in this more uh, blue-toned reds that pink peeking through. Let me know if I'm crazy, but I feel like there's a little bit of pink peeking through this red. Well, Sunday was my favorite for every day. This lipstick is so stunning. The shade makes your teeth look super white. And this is coming from someone who I haven't really done anything to my teeth in a very long time. I am definitely very long overdue for a um, whitening. So I feel like right now, I'm looking at myself and I know my, my teeth need to be whitened. It's been a long, long time, probably two years, so it's time. And my lips, I'm sorry, my teeth are starting to look yellow. And even with lipstick, they look super white. I'm looking at the camera, I'm like, wow, they look super white. So definitely a lipstick that I'm pretty sure looks great on everyone. It brightens your complexion. There's just always something so special about pulling a red lip and just gives you literally that very energetic, almost powerful sensation that you can just take on the world. And the name Power definitely goes perfect with this lipstick. So anyway, here is Power on the lips. To wrap this up, I think these lipsticks are extremely soft and buttery on the lips, very lightweight. So if you're not someone who enjoys matte lipsticks as much, give this one a try. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. You definitely feel like you're wearing a lipstick, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. And I say it again, whenever you wear matte lipsticks, they're definitely there. You can feel them on the lips depending on the formula you pick. So I think this is a beautiful formula, very easy to apply. It has a ton of pigment, even the lighter one, and they're very soft. They just slide on your lips and overall, I would give them probably a 10 out of 10. They're very stunning. They're very buttery. And for someone who hasn't been grabbing matte lipsticks for, I want to say, almost a year, I am very pleasantly surprised. I've been loving my satin formulas with a glossy top. So it is very different, of course, but the look of a matte lip, it's so polished. It's so put together. So I am loving these lipsticks. There's not much to say except for they are very, very good. And just go ahead and pick whatever color you prefer. Maybe go in store into Sephora to try them out, see which one uh, calls more your name but I think you will not go wrong with any of the ones that you pick. Let me know in the comments below which one of these lipsticks was your favorite, or if you picked up any of these Merit lipsticks, which one is your personal favorite? I wanna say, by far, my two favorite favorites were Power and Sunday, which is the pink one. I wanted to show you Sunday next to Millennium, which is my favorite pink of the satin formula but I don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's in one of my bags, the one that I'm carrying right now, but I don't have it here, so I didn't wanna go downstairs. I usually always carry Millennial in my purse. Literally, I change it around in every single purse that I carry because it's my favorite pink and it's perfect for every day. So I wanna see how they compare to each other with Sunday, which they seem to be very similar in shade and like the tone, but of course, satin versus matte. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a bit of a side-to-side -side comparison with the satin formula towards, you know, comparing it to the matte. And of course, I'm also going to be doing, because I'm personally interested in seeing how 
This formula compares to Charlotte Tilbury and the Queen of Mads, which is Lisa Eldridge. So anyway, thank you for watching. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.